Okay guys, uh, today we're going to be talking about the Telang Queenfish. Uh, Scombro moides comisonianus. It's uh, quite a nice uh, tongue twister, practice every morning. Uh, it's a fish with a very, very large mouth. I mean, proportionately, their mouths are absolutely gigantic. They look like TV news reporters. You've got a very, very long fish, very, very deep fish, but they are extremely narrow. So a fish of like 10 kilos will be almost paper thin. I don't know what paper I'm using, but it's that thick. The, uh, they also have very large spots along their body, very, very large eye, and sandpapery type teeth. So they don't have very, very sharp teeth. They got sandpapery teeth, very similar to a garrick, which are designed for latching onto fish and grabbing them, holding them tight. Um, yeah, so very, very sharp, but but very flat sandpaper teeth, very good for scuffing balls like Australians. Couldn't resist. <laughs> They're very silvery fish. Like we said, there's very dark spots along them. They get to about 1.2 meters and 16 kilos. Your average is a little bit less than that. They are backline and reef based predators so not very deep offshore you're getting them very close behind very very similar to a garrick also in appearance but we'll get to that in a little bit they they are piscivores so they like fish um, they also very much enjoy swimming crabs and swimming prawns and squid so pretty much very active hunting hunting individuals that's why they got that very big eye they are light tackle game fish they you really really don't need heavy tackle for these fish they love small lures anything small and move fast will, will be attacked by them you get them all along our coast all the way up north uh, big aggregations occur in oman dubai that sort of uae area they love that shallow warm water and the big fishery is starting up there now of uh, guys actually targeting them on all sorts of artificials your in terms of recreation, they, there's not much of a commercial scene for them here, which is thankfully it means they, they're quite well protected. Your recreational guys are going to be targeting them with strip baits, uh, feathers, small lures, flies, um, any of your small little lip lures, also trawl behind backline or around reef is, is a very good way to, to catch them. They, give an amazing fight. They're very aerial, so they jump in the air a lot. They fight very cleanly, they don't try and cut you off. And yeah, so you can target them with extremely light tackle. A light spinning rod for me is ideal. So something in like a 3,000, 4,000 size diver and a little light seven foot rod is ideal for them. Um, they, yeah, they really, really like fast moving things behind the back line. Small little, a small little live bait with a circle hook. So similar how you target tuna with a, a circle hook through the snout of the live bait, except obviously you're going to scale down a little bit. Yeah? Even though they do have a very big mouth, I prefer using a very small live bait. So there's a little mouse bunker. That with a 4 circle through the nose, perfect for them. Make sure you let them eat. Very similar to a Garrick, they like to, to nosh on the bait and scale it sometimes with those teeth of theirs. So make sure you give them plenty of time to eat, let them move off of the bait, tighten the line and then set the hook with them. In KZN we don't really catch them from the shore very much, but as you move further north into Mozambique then your shore based guys do tend to catch them. Um, here in KZN we really only get them uh, from the ski boats, from the jet skis, from the paddle skis or your offshore craft. Um, but yeah, we do occasionally catch a few, so don't be surprised if you do hook into a few, especially on northern KZN when you're throwing for the snook and the kingies. Yeah, so as we mentioned, uh, very aerial fighter, very strong fighter, but the perfect fish to target on light tackle. So if you've got a small boat, got a jet ski, a paddle ski, get out behind backline, throw a few small lures, draw some strip baits, and get stuck into some queenfish. Cheers, guys.